Welcome to the tutorial video for Screencastify Submit. Your teacher may be using this tool in order to have you record your thinking either on the screen or using a webcam. So I've just created a really simple assignment you might not be a grade four, that's totally okay. When you click on the link though, you will see a screen something like this, one that says Screencastify at the top. It will have your assignment title, and then it will have the instructions. You'll notice at the bottom that it says, this assignment will record your microphone and screen. It might say instead that it will record your microphone and your webcam. So make sure you know which one is which. So the instructions in this pretend assignment say open the website, solve the problem 12 multiplied by 3, and here's the pieces that you always want to do even if the instructions aren't written down. Think aloud as you do your work. It's not about just what you're writing on the screen, but it's about what you're thinking in your head. So help your teacher know what's going on in your head by if you think it, say it. And make all of your thinking very obvious. Don't just say 15 if you're adding 12 plus 3. Say 12 plus 3 is 15. And don't worry about making mistakes. If you say 2 plus 3 is 6, just say, I mean, 2 plus 3 is 5. We're not worried about these videos being perfect. We just want to see what your thinking is. And part of your thinking is making those errors. And those errors help us understand where we can help support you. So don't re-record, just keep going. So you're ready to start. So my instructions say open the website. So I'm going to click on the website and it will come up in a new tab. Now this one can be sometimes kind of slow and your teacher may not be using this particular website and that's totally fine. It says create a free whiteboard. So I'm going to create a free whiteboard. This one sometimes takes about 10 to 15 seconds. So if I've given it that amount of time, I might want to hit create free whiteboard again to see what happens. You'll come back to this tab and you'll click record so that it will actually record what you're seeing on your screen. So I will leave it as my entire screen and then I will make sure to click this box that shows up in here and I will click share. There's a countdown timer or I can skip the countdown. I will click on web whiteboard again, and then I will be able to do my work. You'll notice that it says this is a shared online whiteboard. I'm just going to get rid of that little box so I have more of my screen. Now, if I forget what the question was, I can just go back to my other tab and it said solve the problem 12 multiplied by three. All right. So I can come along and I've got pens and markers here. I've got a text box. I can even add a picture, but I, it's not about making this pretty. So I'm just going to use my pen. And if I have a touch screen, I can use my finger. If I don't, I can use my mouse and I can write 12 multiplied by three. And then I'm going to walk you through it kind of like what we would expect a student to say. So pretend I'm you solving this question. 12 multiplied by three. I'm going to use the array method in order to solve this. 12 is 10 plus 2, 3. 10 multiplied by 3 is 30. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. And 30 plus 6 is 36. So 12 multiplied by 3 is 36. When I'm done and I'm ready to stop my recording, I'll just go back to the tab that has the instructions there and I will tell it to stop recording. It will tell me that it's processing my video, which means it's just getting it finished up. It might take a minute. Don't close the tab and you just have to kind of wait till that's done. Sometimes you might get that error message. Sorry, processing is taking a little longer than usual. That's okay. Just give it some time. Whatever you do, don't close this tab until you're done. So you're not done yet. Now it brings up the video and you can click play and it will play the video for you. I could hit start over, but you don't need to do that. Just hit submit and it will say submitting your video. Again, you're just going to have to wait a little bit. And that's it. It automatically sent it to your teacher and your teacher 
will be able to look at your video and it will already have your name in there and your email address in there. So now you have three choices. Number one, you can download the video if you want to save that in case you're worried that maybe it didn't go through and you'll still have that video and you won't have to redo it again if it did get lost, which it shouldn't. Number two, if you're on Google Classroom, you can share your video to Google Classroom. Or number three, you can just close the screen. And that's it. That's how you use Screencastify Submit if your teacher creates an assignment for you to do to record your screen.